Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to go back to the Great White North. A lot of action up there. And I'm going to call this uh, this quick hitter the riddle of Jean Richard Race Laravier um, and kind of where he stands, the story within a story. There's a ton of these kind of offshoot subplots and narratives within the great Canadian mafia war uh, that has raged for the last decade and a half. Uh, friends that were enemies are now friends. Enemies are, are uh, you know, with other friends of enemies and uh, friend is foe and foe is friend. It, it's, a, it's a confusing landscape. And race is, is kind of like, you know, he was in Marty Robert's, you know, inner circle at one point on the come up. Uh, but where he stands right now, I think people are are, are questioning, or at least uh, you know, in, whispering in in you know back alleys or or uh, the dark corners of, of coffee coffee shops or whatnot. He's been in hiding uh, since Greg Woolley's uh, assassination a couple months ago, and or just last month actually, and. Um, he popped his head back out a couple of weeks ago and went to the funeral of his right hand man, uh, Sammy Chu, aka Sammy Blue, uh, tomorrow, who was gunned down while uh, in the middle of a workout in Cancun, Mexico. He had fled uh, Montreal about a year ago in the wake of his cousin, uh, Freddie Silva, a mafia hitman, cutting a cooperation deal. Played a role, that, you know, the, the Silva, um, the fact that Silva decided to become a cooperator definitely played a role in the downfall of this longtime alliance between the, the mafia, the Rizzuto crime family, and the Hells Angels. Marty Robert is in the middle of a, a power surge right now, uh, big time. You know, move to take over the the Quebec underworld. Uh, Marty Robert, from what we hear at Original Gangster uh, OG Pod and 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 its and its companion web magazine Gangster Report, is got his eyes on being the boss of bosses in in all of Canada, uh, kind of the what Vito Rizzuto once was, and flipping that paradigm from uh, Rizzuto uh, Montreal Mafia on top and Hell's Angels. Uh, underneath that to being the Hells Angels on top and everyone else underneath that. Uh, and again, who's aligned with who, even within the um, the Hells Angels, you know, in that inner sanctum is still up for debate. So, you know, race, we're not exactly sure. Is he on Marty's good side? Uh, is he someone that uh, is on board with Marty. Uh, I've heard that he is, but I've also heard from other people that uh, he might be viewed as a little bit too close to Greg Woolley. And then the fact that they killed Sammy tomorrow has him going, you know, bunker style right now. So, I, you know, I call this the riddle of of, of race, Larvier. You know, where where is he going to be in 2024? Only time to tell. This guy was a, a big time player. Uh, for the last two, two and a half decades uh, before the war, uh, going back to the Quebec biker war, uh, but a guy that was real close to, to Mom Boucher, the, the legendary Hells Angels godfather, and a guy that was a, a street banker, knew how to move money around and launder money, uh, known to, to, to help run uh, drug deals and weapons deals even today, that uh, there were up until, I guess, the, the fractured relationship between the mafia and the Hells Angels, but for a long time was was running uh, point a, as a liaison between the two groups um, in in certain uh, narcotics transactions, guns, tra uh, uh, gun uh, sales, gambling, and whatnot. So something to keep an eye out uh, for. Uh, I've heard that on one hand he's he's taking precautions and laying low, and then I've heard from other people that. Him laying low is actually some type of smoke screen, and that he actually might be the one who's taking out his own guys. 
So we don't know. Only time will tell. But I just wanted to give an update. Uh, he he was again. He was in Marty Robert's wedding back in 2018. So we know he has uh, quite a bit of, of ties to to Marty. But uh, he's also his own man and quite a force of nature in his own right. So we'll we'll, we'll keep you updated on what happens up there for OG Pod. I'm Scott Bernstein. Thank you.